Are you with me, please? Yeah. The first stage of recruitment is that what? There's what? A vacant position. That is the first stage of recruitment. So if I'm going to ask you for a job, the first thing I will say is, Mohammed, please, if there's any vacant position in the office, let me know. That's what I will say, right? So that means the first stage of recruitment and selection is what? Vacancy. We call it vacancy. So if there's no vacant position, are we going to talk about recruitment? No. If there's no vacant position, are we going to talk about recruitment? No. That means the first stage is what? Vacancy. So what's the about vacancy? said, the first stage is to identify the number and type of staff that needs to be recruited. So true vacant position would know the number of vacant positions in our company, the number of people we need in our company. Oh, one, two, three, four. I yeah. see a company and like staff, man, the clients, right? Yes. So we know, now, like in this department, we have one, two, three, four, four vacant positions. So these positions need to be filled because we have four empty chairs, right? Yeah. So that's vacancy. That's the first stage. Is it clear? Then we go to the second stage. The right people are more likely to be selected if job description and person selection. So the first stage is vacancy. The second stage is job description and person specification. Job description is about the kind of job that individual will do. So if I'm employing this individual into this position, what will be his responsibilities? What's going to be his uh, functions, his job? That is job description. Do you understand what job description is here? The first one is what? Vacancy. The second one is job description. So the third one is, for this job description, who do we need for this position? What is the characteristic of that individual that is going to fill this position? What is the qualification of that individual that is going to fill this position? That's what we call person specification. Who is that individual going to be? What he or she is going to possess to, pick, to, to be able to fill up that position? Do you understand person specification here? Yeah. Yeah. This is the jobs, the roles, and functions of potential employee. Potential employee. Can you see my writing, please? Can you see it? No. <laughs> okay, let me try to write it better. So I want to explain everything at a time. So for job description, the rules and functions of potential employment. Is this clear? Is it clear? Please? Yes. Then we have person specification. So, for job person specification, we're talking about the characteristics, the quality, the skills, the qualification that that individual needs to have before we can employ him or her. Is it clear? Yes. Then the third stage, advertisements. For advertisements, you know, here we said we have one, two, three, four positions available, right? Someone outside would not know if these positions are available, yes or no? So we need to inform them. We need to get them aware. We need to create awareness that these positions are vacant. Do you understand what advertisement is here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you guys with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Advertisement. So we know in our company that we need one, two, three, four. But nobody knows outside this company. Yes or no? Yes. Great. So what do we do? How are they going to be aware that we need to we need uh, some workers? to advertise it. So advertise it means you are creating awareness that there is what vacancy. So the form of advertisement you will do will depend on the time, the kind of recruitment you want to have. 
Because we have two types of recruitment. We have internal recruitment, guys, please be here. We have internal recruitment and external recruitment. So if we are doing internal recruitment, it means promotion. We need internal means we are employing we want to employ workers within our company to fill the position. So we don't have to advertise. Do you get it? We want someone within us to fill the position. That's internal recruitment. So we don't need to advertise that. The only thing we need to do is put it in the notice board or send mails. Do you get it? Yes. But for external recruitment, we need workers from outside that are not members of this company. So that means we have to advertise. Do you understand what advertisement is here? Yes. So advertisement will come if you have decided as a company through the human resources department that you want to use external recruitment. For internal, you don't have to advertise. Do you understand advertising here? Yes. Great. The next one. Job seekers are likely to apply for a job by completing the job application form through their CV. So, as soon as we advertise the job, this we're talking about external here. As soon as we advertise, a lot of people would send their application form. Yes or no? Yes. So as soon as application form is sent, what do we do? We select, we shortlist the most suitable or qualified candidates. I just get it. So the next stage is shortlisting. Shortlisting. Do you get the point here? After this stage, we're going to expect some application forms. <coughs> yes or no? So the application forms will come through the CV. So if I'm going to apply for a job, I have to send an application attached with my CV, my curriculum vitae. Yes. So what does that imply? It's going to talk about who I am, who am I, what do I have, my, my, uh, we call it, uh, my credentials, my certificates, everything will be stated in the curriculum vitae. Do you get it? So I will attach it with the cover note, which is called application form. Then I'm going to send it to the company. So as soon as the company receives all these letters or application forms, what do they do? They shortlist. They choose the most qualified candidate that they think. But that will not give you the job. Because they are only seeing your CV. They have not seen you in person. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Yes. As soon as you send your forms, your application form to the company, the company will take it and they will choose, they will shortlist those that they feel up until, until that time that have the best qualification. That does not give you the job. Because sometimes some people have an a CV like a lion, but when you see them, they are more like a dog. Do yeah. you get the point? Yeah. Your CV may be so rich that companies are attracted to you, but when they see you, what you have in your CV, you cannot defend it. You can lie on the CV. Yeah, so that's why I said, you look like a lion. Your CV looks like a lion, but in person, you are just like a dog. Do you get the point? Yeah. So that is why you have to go through selection and the process and interview. So the next stage. The process. Now, as soon as we shortlist, the company will shortlist, be feeling that or believing that they've chosen the best candidate for now. Then they call you in person to know what about you. That is interview. So the next stage is interview. Are you guys getting it? So for the interview, you be that's when they want to know more about you through your CV. Your CV has spoken about you, but now you have to speak for yourself. So you are the interviewee, then you will be interviewed by the interviewer. Do you get it? Yes. During the interview, you will be asked a lot of questions, which you have to answer. You have to convince the company that you are the best for that job. And the only way you can do that is through the interview. Are you with me? Yeah. Great. So as soon as the interview is done, the interviewers must decide who to appoint. So, the shortlist, shortlisting candidates, the, company, the vacant position might be four. Then, the candidates that are shortlisted, shortlisted might be 10 or 15 for four positions. So, 
Amongst them, they're going to choose four. That is best among the rest. As soon as that is done, the recruitment process is done. So those that are those that succeeded, those that are successful, will be employed and will be told that oh, you have gotten a job. And those that failed or that are not successful, the human resources department will still send a note to them or a call to them or a message to them that they should try next time. <clears throat> the, the vacancy is done. Those are the process of recruitment. Is it clear? The first stage is vacancy. That means there's a vacant position. The next one is job description. The next one is person specification. And as soon as that is done, we're talking about advertisement. And as soon as that advertisement is done, advertisement will come in place because it is external recruitment. Put that in mind. And as soon as that is done, the company, the human resources will receive, job applications. will receive a lot of job applications. And as soon as that is done, shortlisting will be done. As soon as shortlisting is done, there's going to be interview. Successful candidates will get the job, will be appointed. Unsuccessful candidates will be told that they are not successful, they should try another time. Then vacancy is done. Any questions about that?